Tesla's full self-driving beta 10 software was just released and people are still talking about it but Elon Musk is already tweeting about the 10.1 beta versions capabilities and they have more human-like capabilities as Tesla CEO Elon Musk now announced an upcoming full self-driving beta capability for Tesla vehicles to make the driver assist system operate even more human-like and in this report i'm going to tell you what is it welcome back dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up please if you find this video report informative so tesla ceo elon musk now is announcing an upcoming full self-driving beta capability to make the driver assist system that is going to make tesla vehicles uh, work uh, drive itself operate even more human-like tesla's full self-driving beta is designed to be an eventual replacement for a competent human driver and while the current iteration of the advanced driver assist system still has a lot of room for improvement there is little doubt that the full self-driving beta 10 is far more confident and runs smoother than its previous iterations notes maria merano from teslarady.com in a recent post i think it was on saturday on twitter elon musk stated that full self-driving beta 10.1 would be able to creep forward with more confidence and quickly reverse back a little if needed reversing back if needed the ceo added the full self-driving beta 10.1 would initiate the quick reverse maneuver if the vehicle senses danger so james stephenson uh, wrote on twitter saying check it out full self-driving beta 10 makes an unprotected left turn against cross traffic from both directions even though tall hedges block the view on both sides how by creeping forward just like human drivers do and he shared James Locke's video on that. Now, Elon Musk on September 11th uh, responded to that tweet and said, quote, with 10.1, it will creep forward with more confidence and quickly reverse back a little, just as a person would if it sees danger. Indeed, a very more like human-like uh, capability from full self-driving. Of course, full self-driving still seems to be far away from being level 5 approval, which is full autonomy, but at least these full uh, human-like features are bringing it a little bit closer. While it may be a minor update, uh, Maria Merano notes from teslarady.com, full self-driving beta 10.1's capability to reverse could improve its performance in intersections. It could also improve the maneuvers of vehicles during unprotected left turns. As noted by Elon Musk, the reversing maneuver is modeled after how human drivers type typically behave when faced with similar situations. We normally reverse back a little bit, right? If we're too close to a vehicle. Now it's amazing that Tesla could do that now. Tesla would have to exercise extreme caution when implementing FSD based that 10.1's reversing capability. Any sudden reverse maneuvers would likely incite strong reactions from other vehicles on the road, especially from cars directly following a Tesla, notes Maria Merano from Tesla Radi. And she, she says, however, given Tesla's focus on safety, FSD Beta 10.1 would likely calculate the distance between itself and the vehicle behind it and move only within a safe space now i'm going to in a paragraph tell you what is elon musk said tesla about uh, fsd on highway tesla fsd beta 10 was released recently friends and true to ceo elon musk's predictions on twitter the the new iteration of the advanced driver c suite is a significant step up from its previous iterations the updates improvements were demonstrated clearly in how full self-driving beta 10 seamlessly completed a drive down down San Francisco's Lombard Street, one of the most crooked streets in the United States. Unlike previous full self-driving beta versions challenged by the twisty road, full self-driving beta 10 navigated the street like a human driver, completing the drive smoothly and without disadvantages. Now, also, Musk also tweeted that uh, this, he said that, I think it's more profound. Now, 
highway stack is still production version as it is more polished than full self driving for now single stock for all should release in 10.1 a lot to look forward to 10.1 beta release for full self driving so we're looking for the human like drive highway stock uh, into a production version and i think i saw another tweet by elon musk suggesting that the full self driving uh, point 10.1 is coming in two to three weeks so in three weeks let's say you give it an extra week in three weeks we should be able to see full self-driving with reversing and highway stacking friends you know the current fsd <coughs> v v10 which elon Musk said will blow your mind while is a lot of improvement it um mainly uh, uh, focuses on user interface updates these are ui updates while the release notes indicate just bug fixes for uh, this release updated in this release the 10 uh, v10 are some improvements to the lane lines those look more matured close to what would be in a commercial release much of the fuzziness has been removed and lines and colors are clearer in terms of turns beta testers are reporting improvements to the confidence in perform in performing turns similar to what we saw between um, full self-driving v8 and v9 there is a change to how the visualization works at intersections now you'll see in uh, videos that i posted on saturday uh, segment you'll see um, uh, tesla raj uh, he pro provided two videos on his twitter channel that when the car approaches the cross intersection and the roundabout uh, the view rotates up and out to give you a better perspective nice the first one is called tesla fsd zoom and tesla the second one is called tesla fsd roundabout now in this full self-driving release of current release which is v10 the theory was that we were going to see the same ai powered vision first stack power the highway driving of navigate on autopilot rather than just city streets but like i said the highway stack is coming in uh, in the next release there is still no word at least I didn't hear any words about the waypoint um, and we have now uh, confirmed already on Saturday that the much anticipated waypoints feature is not included in this release. Now one thing that is improved is the expansion of full self-driving. More people are getting it. Now one of the big questions like I said around this release is the long awaited button to expand the beta user group for Tesla FSD drivers. Earlier this year Elon Musk had suggested the group of around 2000 early access beta users would be expanded once the software was ready with version 10 it seems they have reached a confidence level satisfactory to release it to wider audience now uh, tech au from australia has uh, now confirmed that the new people are receiving beta full self-driving at least one person who was granted access to early access program uh, via emails two weeks ago has now received the download for fsd beta 10 musk had suggested the download button would simply show up for anyone who had purchased full self-driving and enable them to opt into the beta this has changed over recent weeks and months uh, to be expanded gradually so because tesla and elon musk want to ensure maximum safety now what do we know is that uh, what we do know is that this will be us only for now so those of people living outside the united states will need to be a little bit patient and wait for the uh, next release hopefully it will start expanding after the next release so friends let me know what your thoughts are on the fsd 10 what your expectations are for tesla's full self-driving and what you were the capability capabilities of fsd 10.1 human like driving highway stack and so on reversing like humans a little bit um, this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for tesla discussions and electric vehicle discussions for daily news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next report and i'll see you soon in our next report god bless you everyone peace be with all of you and let's be kind to each other always in everything have a great day